Shemoth, Exodus chapter 25. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, that they take up a contribution for me. From everyone whose heart moves him, you shall take up my contribution. And this is the contribution which you, shall, which you take up from them, gold and silver and bronze and blue and purple and scarlet material and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skins dyed red and fine leather and acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense, shoham stones and stones to be set in the shoulder garment and in the breastplate. And they shall make me a set apart place and I shall dwell in their midst. According to all that I show you, the pattern of the dwelling place and the pattern of all its furnishings, make it exactly so. And they shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. And you shall overlay it with clean gold, inside and outside you shall overlay it. And you shall make it on a molding of gold all around. And you shall cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in its four corners, two rings on one side and two rings on the other side. And you shall make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, and shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to lift up the ark by them. The poles are in the rings of the ark, they are not taken from it. And into the ark you shall put the witness which I give you. And you shall make a lid of atonement of clean gold, two and a half cubits long and a cubit and a half wide, and you shall make two carabim of gold, make them of beaten work at the two ends of the lid of atonement, and make one carob at one end, and the other carob at the other end. Make the carabim from the lid of atonement at its two ends, and the carabim shall be spreading out their wings above, covering the lid of atonement with their wings, with their faces toward each other, the faces of the carabim toward, turned toward the lid of atonement. And you shall put the lid of atonement on top of the ark, and put into the ark the witness which I give you. And I shall meet with you there, and from above the lid of atonement, from between the two carabim which are on the ark of the witness, I shall speak to you all that which I command you concerning the children of Israel. And you shall make a table of acacia wood, two cubits long, a cubit wide, and a cubit and a half high. And you shall overlay it with clean gold, and shall make a molding of gold all around, and shall make for it a rim of a handbreadth all around, and shall make a gold molding for the rim all around. And you shall make for it four rings of gold, and put the rings on the four corners that are at its four legs. The rings are close to the rim as holders for the poles to lift the table. And you shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold, and the table shall be lifted with them. And you shall make its dishes, and its ladles, and its jars, and its bowls for pouring. Make them of clean gold. And you shall put the showbread on the table before me continually. And you shall make a lampstand of clean gold. The lampstand is made of beaten work. Its base and its shaft, its cups, its ornamental knobs, and blossoms are from it. And six branches shall come out of its sides. Three branches of the lampstand out of one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side. Three cups made like almond flowers on one branch, with ornamental knob and blossom, and three cups made like almond flowers on the other branch, with ornamental knob and blossom, so for the six branches coming out of the lampstand. And on the lampstand itself are four cups made like almond flowers, with ornamental knob and blossom, and a knob under the first two branches of the same, and a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches coming out of the lampstand. Their knobs and their branches are of the same, all of it one beaten work of clean gold, and you shall make seven lamps for it, and they shall mount its lamps so that they give light in front of it. And its snuffers and their trays are of clean gold, it is made of a talent of clean gold with all its all these utensils. So see and do according to the pattern which was shown to you on the mountain.